know I'm gonna call you every day. Oh, sure. I know. You'll get up there on campus with all those beautiful college freshmen. And within two weeks, I'll be nothing more than a fond memory. I really no. Come on. It'll take at least a month. Jerk. <laughs> give me some credit, huh? Well, give us a little credit. We haven't we gone together long enough for you to know me better than that? Yeah. I trust you. Strawberry. No! No! Oh, hey, there's Gail and Linda. Where? Another one for 20 minutes. I'm sorry, David. Oh, why? It's not your fault. Yes, it is. I spent forever trying to decide what ice cream I wanted. Now forget it. Now you're going to be late for work. Yeah, uh, that's. You know, we, you know, we can hitch a ride. We'll be there in no time. I don't mind. My mom will kill me if she finds out. Well, she won't. She won't. I promise. Come on. Lucky I came by. There isn't much traffic along this road. Thanks a lot. Sure. You kids ready for school to start? Oh, please, don't mention it. Where'd summer go? I don't know. Kind of looking forward to it. Sure, you get to go away to college. Hey, that's exciting. I remember when I left home for the first time. All right. Had a good time, huh? Oh, well, you know how it is. Being your own boss, nobody keeping tabs. Better get your fun in before you have to settle down to domestic tranquility. I don't think I like this whole conversation. Oh, I get it. You two are going steady, huh? Yeah, well, something like that. And don't listen to me. I'm just an old married man with three kids at home. What do I know? mention it. I enjoyed the company. Hey, you both live on this street? Well, I live a few blocks down, but I can walk. Okay, but I'm going in that direction. I could drive you. Well... Hey, it's up to you. Well... Well, it's only three blocks. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Call me tonight. Okay. Uh, thanks for the ride. Bye-bye. No, I don't know when she'll be home. Look out of the way. Here comes. 
Once a Papa Cranston's world famous sauce salad uh, with a dressing Italiano under the glass. <laughs> hey, watch this. You flip it the flopper, you flip it the flopper, huh? Have some more, Rick. You think you've made enough, Papa Cranston? There's only three of us for dinner tonight. Andrea's late. Andrea's late. Kids don't watch clocks. She's out with David again. So? So, she spent the whole summer with him. I like David. But they spend entirely too much time together. You spend entirely too much time worrying about her. David will be leaving in a few weeks, and then they'll be seeing other people. Don't worry about it. Let's eat. There she is. Hi, honey. How was the movie? Great. Really funny. Well, hurry and wash up. Dinner's ready. Manja, manja. Okay, um, all right, there's this guy. He doesn't have any arms, doesn't have any legs, and he's hanging up on a wall. <laughs> What's his name? It's <laughs> Art. She's not hungry. She's probably been eating all day. I wouldn't worry about it. Do I hear the water running? I think she's taking a shower. I could heat up the no, lasagna. Mom, David and I ate while we were out. What are you doing? I'm making up my class schedule for the fall semester. No, so soon. You usually wait until the last minute. Well, I want to get it done. Is that all right? I'd like to have a talk with you, Andrea, about David. I know that we've talked about it before, but I still think you should be dating others, especially with David going back to college so soon. I don't think it's good for a girl to be dating just one boy. I know, and I think you're right. So I've decided not to see him as often. Is that what you wanted to hear? Now, I'd like to finish this and go to bed, please. So stuffy in here. I'll open the window for you.
How's your mother? Oh, she's fine now. The doctor says it was just her old allergies acting up. Andy, hi. Hi. I'm going over to the mall to look at the new fall clothes. You want to come? Um, no thanks, Kim. I don't think so. Why not? Now, it's better than hibernating in the house all day. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. All right. For a little while, at least. Lindsay and Gil went to the concert last night. I thought David would take you. He had to work. Oh. Uh, Hi, did you take out the trash? Yeah, look what I found in the garbage can. Hmm. I'm so tired. I don't know if I'll make it to the mall. Kim, what are you doing? I'm hoping for a nice, comfortable car. <laughs> hey, where are you going? To the mall. Me too. Get in. No! A Andrea! What is it? What is it? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Yesterday, we were, we were hitching, and a, a man stopped. He looked so safe. And he wouldn't let me out of the car. We, he, he drove up into the hills. He raped me, Kimmy. I was raped. I was raped. T what does your mother know? No. No, she can't find out, Kim. I was hitchhiking. She'll be furious if she ever knows. But somebody has to know. I mean, Andy, the police, we have to report this. The sooner the better, so they catch the man. Now, come on, we're going right now. And then afterwards, you walked straight home and didn't tell anyone what happened? Then what you do? I went up to my room. I didn't feel like being with my family. Did you shower? Yeah. <sighs> have you seen a doctor since this happened? No. Well, you're gonna have to, you know. Now, what about the clothes you were wearing? I threw them away. <sighs> Doesn't make it easy for us. You know, if you had gone to an emergency hospital where they know how to take physical evidence, we'd have something to press charges with. Sorry. But don't be sorry. You didn't know. I'm going to need David's last name and telephone number. Why? He's a witness. He saw the man. Maybe he can add to the description of the car. You said it was green. Well, maybe he can tell us what model. Maybe he can give us a part of a license number. I'm sure he can't. Why does he have to know? Andrea, I know this is hard. Now, you're a very brave young lady. You've just been through a terrible ordeal. It'll be a lot easier if you let others help. But here, call your mother. You need her. just don't get it, Andrea. Why didn't you tell us? You should have come to us the minute you walked through that door. What is that? Huh? I What's that shrug? I don't get that. For heaven's sake, Phil, she was in shock. She was stunned, ashamed. Can't you see that? Mom, I wasn't ashamed. It was just... What did the doctor say that the police brought in? He examined her. 
took some tests, one for VD. She'll have to have several more over the next few months. There's a number of things she could have caught from him. She'll have to have a pregnancy test, too. They better find him before I do. Sergeant Corbett's coming by in the morning. He wants Andrea to show him where the... where it happened. Why? He wants to look for evidence. He wants to see if the guy dropped anything, if he left something behind. I don't know. Phil, I don't want her to go. Well, she has to. If only you hadn't gotten into that car. I know that, Mom. But you know, that's all I think about. If only I hadn't hitched, but I did. And it happened. And I don't need to be reminded of it. Andrea, it's David on the phone. He wants to talk to you. Does he know? Yeah, he knows. The police interviewed him. Him. Well, how can I face him? I hope they never find him. And let him get away with this. What's the matter with you? Mister, you just passed my street. Come in there, huh? Thanks for the ride. Thanks for the ride. Thanks for the ride. Did you shower? I want that creep behind bars where he belongs. I want him off the streets. Been punished for what he did. I'm not thinking about him. I'm thinking about Andrea. What if they do catch him? Then what? A trial? Newspaper stories? Do you want Andrea to relive this nightmare over and over again? some crazy eights? Not now, Jeffy. Maybe later. I wish someone would tell me what's going on. What do you mean? Well, Dad comes home from work early yesterday. Mom sends me over to Steve's. You and Mom are crying, and I know you were at the police station yesterday. Well, we can't hide anything from you, can we? Did you get in trouble, Andy? They catch you shoplifting or something? Well, you can tell me if you did, honest. No, honey, it was nothing like that. There's a man, and he, he hurt me. He beat me up, and the police are trying to find him. Is that how you hurt your eye? Mm -hmm. I hope they catch him. Andrea, you about ready? Corbett's going to be here in a minute. I'll be right there. I still don't think she should go, Phil. Well, she has to go. It's important. What did you tell them at the office? Nothing. 
Well, that's good. I still don't see any reason for anyone else to know about this. Have you cleaned up your room, young man? Not yet. Marge. He's not to know a thing about this. Why not? He's too young, that's why. He has to know sometime. Maybe not. Not if nobody tells him. David called again this morning. What'd you tell him? I told him you weren't up to talking. I can't. Not yet. Your father's ready to go. Cranston, you'll have to wait here. Um, the less we disturb the area, the better. Andrea? Then what happened? He... He pulled me out of the car. No! Leave me alone! Stop it! Take it easy. Just do the best you can. Then... He... He dragged me over here through these weeds. Look around now, Mr. Cranston. You didn't find anything? You know, your father's really anxious to catch those guys. It's a normal reaction. How are things going with you? Andrea, you know, this just isn't your crisis. Your parents don't know what to do about it any more than you do. Have you called the hotline yet? The Rape Crisis Center hotline. I gave your mother their number. She didn't tell me. I should have given them a call. There's someone there all the time. I wish you hadn't come. Hey, why not? 
That's me, David. I thought we meant something to each other. We did. See, see that's all changed? I don't know. It's, it's too soon. I, mean, I don't know what's changed and what hasn't, but I've changed. And it's my fault. No, David, that's not your fault. It is. I talked you into hitching. I never should have let you ride off with that guy. It was my decision. But I should have ridden along. You were my responsibility. Oh, well, that's wonderful, David. I mean, if you came here to cheer me up, you're not going to do it by making me feel like a child. I'm responsible for myself. Look, we're going to find him. I'm going to see to it. What do you mean you're going to see to it? He was driving a green 76 Plymouth with a dent in the trunk. And I'm going to find him. David, I don't want you doing anything stupid. Well, I got to do something. Look, I don't care what you say. I blame myself for what happened. Then blame yourself. I don't care anymore. No one cares about me. You're all hung up on your own feelings. Now, how about how I feel? What about me? Kim, it's, it's just that the idea of going out is kind of frightening right now. Of course it is. But you have to make yourself do it. Act normal and you'll be normal. Why don't I come over and we'll go downtown together? No. I'd, I'd rather go by myself. Okay? I mean, do you understand why I don't want a babysitter right now? Sure. Hey, maybe we can plan something this weekend. Let's do it. I'll call you. Talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Normal, Andrea. Gloria's a great cook. Mm. I just can't take any more of that freezer burned fish that Jack cost last summer. Good morning, Daddy. Morning, honey. Mom. Morning. I'm starving. What's for breakfast? Oh, well, there's bacon and toast. Can I make you an egg? No, Mom. Toast and juice is plenty. How'd you sleep last night, honey? Fine. Want some juice, Dad? No, I gotta get out of here. I have about a minute and I have to leave for work. Andrea, how about some cereal? Not really, Mom. I thought I'd just take the bus downtown this morning and do some shopping. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Is Kim going with you? No, just me. Oh. Well, are you going downtown like that? I, I mean, dressed like that? Uh-huh. Mom, I've worn this top dozens of times. You've never said anything before. Oh, it's fine. Fine. Sounds great.
Great Pond Line, Louisa speaking. May I help you? My, my name is Andrea. I was raped. Andrea, you sound really frightened. Are you in a safe place? Yeah. Yeah. When were you raped? Uh, days ago. A week. A week. Have you seen a doctor? Yes. Now, can you talk freely? Yes, I'm in a phone booth. And it's not my fault that man attacked me. It was my fault I was hitchhiking, but I didn't ask to be attacked. The man bears total responsibility for that. That's right. And she said that he's probably done this before, and that everything I'm feeling is perfectly normal. Anger, rage, confusion, feeling dirty. She says it's normal. Of course it is. But Andrea, what will you do when they find him? I don't know. I keep trying to put it out of my head. I don't think I could face that man again. In a trial. My mom won't let me testify. My dad. And the police want me to. And David. I don't know. Mom, I'm done. Can I have some cookies? You can have an apple. Mom, what does molest mean? Where did you hear that word? Steve said he heard his mom tell someone that Andy got molested. Molest sort of means to attack someone. To hurt them. You mean like that man did to you? Jeffrey. Would you please take your apple outside and eat it? All right. I think he should be told the truth. Well, I don't, and I am his mother. Mom, it happened. We can't keep pretending that it didn't. But why must we keep making an issue out of it? Dwelling on it? Andrea. How do you ever expect to get over this thing if we keep talking about it? Mom, I don't expect to get over it until we do talk about it. It's like it's a deep, dark secret we have to keep hidden. It is a rather personal matter. Now, wouldn't you agree? Louisa said that feelings have to be brought out and discussed so that they're allowed to heal. Louisa? Who is Louisa? She's a lady I talked to at the rape hotline. Mom, how come you didn't tell me about the hotline? Because I didn't think we'd be needing them. They're there to help, not to interfere. Do you know what your problem is? You're ashamed of me and for me. But I have nothing to be ashamed of. Being raped was not my fault. I was the victim of a crime, don't you see that? It's a crime, it's like being mugged in the park or having your purse snatched. Now, if those things would happen to me, you wouldn't be ashamed of me, would you? Oh, baby. Baby. It's going to be all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello. Phil, no. All right. All right. The police called Daddy at his office. 
They have a suspect. The police think they've caught the man. I'm supposed to identify him tomorrow. I don't know what to do, Louisa. So what if it's him? Then you'll have a decision to make, to testify or not. How do you feel about that? I'm scared to death. It means I'd have to get up and tell the whole world what happened. And if you don't testify, what happens? He gets off scot-free. He might do it again to someone else. That could happen. I suppose you think I should. Wrong. Your first duty is to Andrea. What do you think is right for you? Andrea! David is here to see you. Just a minute. Lisa, I have to go. Okay, call me when you can. Okay, bye-bye. I've got something to tell you. You may hate me when you hear it. And I won't blame you. But uh, I'm the one who turned the man's license number over to the police. Yeah, I spotted the car and I turned it in. And after I did it, I, I realized what I'm putting you through. And I'm gonna face him again, uh, in a trial maybe. Oh, Andy, you were right. I was so determined to make the guy pay, I didn't even stop to think what it'd do to you. Are you sure it's the man? I got a glimpse of him. But better than that, I saw the dent in the trunk. That's him, all right. Don't go, Andy. Don't face him again. Thanks, David, for knowing how hard this is. You know, the other day you said something. Uh, you said you changed. But you haven't changed in the ways that count. You're still the same, Andy. Girl, it's never out of my mind for one minute of the day. Wait a minute, honey. I haven't been much help to you during all of this. I know. But that's going to change. Thanks, Mom. Now go on. Do what you've got to do. I'll take over now, officer. Andrea, we're bringing them in now, five of them. Now remember, they can't see you, so there's nothing to worry about. How do you feel? Step forward. Turn to your right. Turn to your left. Face forward. Number one, I want you to repeat these words. Just sit back and relax. We're going for a little ride. Just sit back and relax. We're going for a little ride. Step back. Step forward, number two. No! 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 No!
sit back and relax. We're going for a little ride. The man Andrea identified has been accused of raping another girl. She identified him earlier this morning. We do have physical evidence of the rape. Now, if you both are willing to go through the ordeal of testifying, we should have a pretty good case. That's, that's something we haven't decided yet. I understand. What are the chances we'll be convicted if we prosecute? There are no guarantees. I mean, we could go through a whole trial and he'd still get off scot-free? Well, we've got a better than average chance of conviction this time because of the physical evidence. Thank you. Dad, I'm going to testify. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm lucky. I have people who love me and help me. 